And that's why Moby Dick is actually a euphemism. All right. God, that was a long paper. But oh well, whatever. It's now I could finally get some fucking rest because it's been a long day. I can't wait to just close my eyes and. Oh man, it's our day. Oh okay. Um, what am I gonna do? There's your. I, I haven't even made my coffee, but oh wait, oh wait. I don't need to make my own coffee because I have my own Circle brand water bottle with its own new coffee flavor. Hey guys, Brian here, and today we're going to be reviewing the Circle uh, brand uh, mocha iced coffee flavor. So first of all, you want to know what Circle is? Well, basically it's just a water bottle with a filter, and this uh, water bottle uh, filter changes the flavors of your water on the whim. Now, you might be wondering, Brian, did you really fall for marketing? I'm like, no, I didn't, because this is a bit cooler than that. So the cool thing about the Circle is that you could actually adjust how much flavor you're getting with each sip. So you could either go for one, which is, it's no flavor, basically. Uh, it's like, a, imagine like when you squeeze like a lemon into water, that's basically what it is. To 10, which is an incredibly insane amount of flavor, which I wouldn't recommend for any reason. My personal favorite is three, because it's, you get enough flavor and to get actual flavor into your water, but not enough to where it's like, um, as they say in Spanish, tempalaga, you know, it's just, it's not overbearing. But anyways, uh, this flavor, for example, that I have is a uh, berry crunch, I, I, I don't know, it's some sort of mixed berry drink. And it's cool. But on the website, they advertise coffee flavors such as this one right here. What I'm holding in my hand is a Circle Brew Sip brand flavored uh, mocha iced coffee. So let's try it out. Well, I'm kidding. I already tried it out this morning for work. And let me tell you something. It was actually pretty good. It was better than expected. And uh, it's taste. It tastes like... I'm not really a coffee person. But it tastes how you would expect brewed coffee to taste like. Admittedly, it has a very watery taste because you are drinking filtered coffee from water. I mean, I guess that's, I suppose that's what all coffee is. But it's still uh, very interesting to be able to taste coffee without having to brew it or anything. And you know, this, uh, these little filters are, have, a, have a pretty good shelf life. So you could keep it on for a while and it'll still keep. So, I mean, it doesn't help you knowing the taste of it by me just sipping it. But like, if we turn it to one, It tastes like if you were to put a coffee bean or two in there, if you crank it up to three, which is my personal favorite for almost every flavor, you start tasting a pretty good blend of chocolate. Did someone say chocolate? Yummy cocoa paired with uh, eye-opening coffee. Let your taste buds rejoice. And rejoice they're about to do, because we're about to crank this uh, flavor up to 10, and we'll see what happens then. Yeah, that's incredibly tough, but let's compare this with other uh, coffees that you might run into. Our two taste competitors today are McDonald's McCafe uh, Iced Mocha and Starbucks. I'm kidding, Starbucks isn't here because when I went to Starbucks today to get a cop, um, iced mocha coffee for this video today, uh, they told me they were closed even though on the website clearly says they close in one hour after I was clearly b there before closing time, but it's whatever. I mean, it, associates uh, come and go. They may, might have to do stuff. It's whatever. I mean, there is no issue really, except there is uh, because you know there was no way to tell it was closed. So I actually had to physically go there to the guy, the barista, who was standing, you know, just there. And you know, it's not really a problem, except that you know I wasted time having to walk up to him and like say I'd like a before he cut me off and said, oh, we're closed. Well, he didn't just say, oh, we're close. He said, oh, sorry, we're close. I mean, there, there's some there is some goodwill there in him. But I'm just saying, you know, it would be a lot easier if they had some sort of sign that said we're close. That way we would avoid that weird, awkward interaction that's uh, bad for both of us. But without it out of the way, let's clear my taste palette from the Circle brand uh, coffee with this great value brand purified drinking water purchased at uh, Walmart. 
and try my now quickly melting and dissolving McDonald's McCafe brand iced mocha coffee. So I'm not really a coffee guy, but let's insert the straw and... It tastes a bit better. Does it? I want to say that that the reason my, for that is uh, because it has milk. But then again, I'm not a coffee guy. I don't know if this even has milk. But what you, but the, my words. But what you can tell is that both of these drinks have caffeine in them. Now, I believe that a lot of people to get coffee for the morning really just want that burst of caffeine. And one thing that you can taste for certain in the circle uh, iced coffee thing is the caffeine. According to the According to the package, it has 30 milligrams per 1.5 milliliters of uh, fluid in each uh, filter. And this has 20 milliliters. So if you uh, do 30 milligrams times, let's estimate 30 times 20 is, I don't know math. So let me pull out my calculator and... So after a lot of maths later, I found out that um, I think per cartridge, if there's 30 milligrams to 1.5 milliliters, then in 20 milliliters, there should be 420 milligrams. Someone please check my math. Basically, that's how much, uh, how many uh, milligrams of caffeine there are per container. Which is good, because if you look at the contents of caffeine in one uh, mix coffee, or let's just say any generic cup of coffee, it the average is about 90 milligrams of caffeine. This gives you, well, let's do some more maths, 9, 18, 27, 36, around four to five cups of coffee worth of caffeine. Which, if you're someone who doesn't drink coffee a lot, that's more than enough. And if you're a coffee junkie, that might be less, but it's still something, you know. Anyways, guys, circle uh, coffee flavor, do I recommend it? It's pretty good. Uh, there's other f coffee flavors out there. There's a vanilla flavor. There's a, there's this one, the iced mocha. And there's another coffee flavor. And then there's another coffee flavor. There's like four flavors. Anyways, uh, try it out. You won't be disappointed. You might be uh, pleasantly surprised as I've been with this uh, neat little water bottle. Of course, I forgot to mention one advantage that the circle thing might have over regular coffee, and that's just uh, less calories. Um, this has zero calories, while uh, actual mocha might have more calories. I don't know how much, but that's up to you to dis uh, discover. And it's just something to know if you're cal calorie counting. Zero versus not zero. Anyways, guys, that's it for today. Have a good day, good night, wherever you guys are, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Oh, this this was still on the 10th flavor. Ice mocha and what else? Uh, that, that'll be it. Just a small ice mocha, please. Or a mocha. Uh -huh. Okay. 237. Okay, thank you. So apparently it's called a mocha, not a mocha. So they were like, are you, are you stupid, Brian? <laughs>